I am uh, Mike Candido of Pinstriping and Lettering, Jasper, California. Pinstriping was, was huge back then. Before they became really popular, cars really uh, uh, lent themselves to striping. People loved it. You know, the early BMWs in the 70s, all through the 80s. Pinstriping and, and expression yeah. through paint on the cars was a lot more prevalent back in the 70s. Where I live out in Chatsworth, in uh, Northridge, there's a place called Devonshire Downs. Devonshire Downs was uh, home of the San Fernando Valley Fair for like the 20s, all through the 30s and 40s, into the 50s. In the 60s, they started having car shows there. And I went to a car show in about 1967. I saw a guy pinstriping a T Roadster, and I saw that and I go, that is really cool. I went home and started practicing and playing around with it. It was like a hobby turned into a business. One of the things that's it's always been very important to me about cars is that, at least here, it's a form of expression. It's a, it's a form of self-expression. And that started off really on in the hot rod scene when people would customize their cars as an expression of who they are and what was important to them. That carried on into the 70s and even into BMW's art car series that started in 1972, which is where we got the inspiration for. We wanted to make our car expressive. We wanted to show our passion that we had behind this car. And we wanted to express that passion in the paint. What's nice about it, it's not a sticker, it's not a decal, it's not, uh, it's not something that's been digitally printed. Um, colors are very vibrant and it's on there, it's part of the paint job. And that's, well, that's what makes it unique too. A lot of the stuff today is a digital print, they stick it on the car. It looks okay from far away, but you walk up close and look at it, you can see fuzziness and graininess to it. This is real crisp, clear, sharp lines, intense color, and it just shows better. When an artist paints a portrait, an art, artist uses brush strokes that are, are his, his emotions, his emotions that come through in the brush strokes. And we wanted to show that kind of emotion. When we first were talking about this paint job, uh, they wanted different textures, and I actually came up with the uh, splash design here in the black, a little bit in the, uh, in the gray, in the, in, the, in the dark gray, which that almost looks like granite almost, and then the uh, gray with the, with the yellow splash. What I do is I actually sponge down the color with kind of a rough, rough sponge and I have a special stiff, almost like an acid dipping brush and I would just I dip it in the paint and I actually just splatter it across in just a random splash. The rest of the stripes have different kinds of swirl effects, uh, squiggly effects, uh, dry brush effects, uh, you know, just uh, different textures that uh, give the car, that give it some kind of Dimension. Something like this can bring a spark their attention. It was quite a project to do. I really enjoyed doing it.